guys, what's up? It's your girl B. Welcome back to my channel and today we are going to attempt to do the butterfly eye makeup. It has been so long since I filmed a video. It's been two weeks since my last upload so I'm really sorry for that but oh, a lot of things have been happening. Recently, my job timings have changed and my schedule is now much more different than the past couple of months So I have had to adjust myself Also, I recently took an eyelash extension course, so that was fun I wanted to be a technician for lash extensions, so that took a bit of my time But anyways, enough of the excuses and let's get on to this video By the way, if you don't already know me, my name is Bianca and I'm a makeup artist in Dubai I post all things beauty and lifestyle related, so if that is the kind of content that you love to watch, then please hit the subscribe button. And with that all being said, let's get started! Alright, so I'm gonna film through my base really quickly just because the focus of this video is the eye makeup. By the way, you guys, I got a new ring light as well, so let me know if you see any difference. Is it much brighter? Is it much better? Or is it just exactly the same as before? Let me know. I'm just using a little bit of Huda Beauty's Matte Perfection as my base. And next, for my foundation, I'm gonna go ahead with a mix of these two foundations. This one is from Smashbox and this one's from Beauty Bakery. If you want to know more about these, I do have a video regarding foundations. So you can definitely watch that if you need more info. So I'm gonna put it onto the back of my hand. Not putting that much of product because we're still gonna put this one to mix. Just one pump of that is enough. And with the back of the brush, I'm just going to swirl that together. So after mixing, this is what it looks like and I'm gonna go in. Okay, so I've just done half of my face and I just wanted to show you guys the difference. Look at that! And it still looks like skin. It still honestly looks like skin. These two are officially like my favorite combinations. My skin has been so congested lately, I have no idea why. Well actually no, it's because of the mask, I know it. But I have no idea why my forehead is also part of that equation. Like I'm not wearing a mask on my forehead but it's getting congested as well. No idea why. Well, I mean, it could also be the fact that I haven't been really taking care of my skin lately. I'm kind of guilty for that. I haven't really been following my normal skincare routine that I had been doing before. So it's probably because of that too. Alright, so I've put on a light layer and it's already matte because of the Smashbox foundation. Now I'm gonna go ahead with Huda Beauty's Overachiever Concealer. I also talked about this in one of my previous videos. I'll link it up above. And rather than putting the product directly onto my under eyes, because I don't want too much coverage, I'm actually just gonna squeeze that product out into this little plate over here. And I'm gonna take my brush and pick up the product just like that. I don't want that much focus on my skin, so I'm not doing much coverage. I want that matte yet glowy kind of look, but minus the imperfections. It's matte, but it's still glowy as well. I can see the light reflecting onto my skin right there. Even though I haven't put on any highlighter, it looks like I'm glowing and I love that. So I'm just bringing it down a little bit onto my neck. Whatever's left on the brush, I'm not really adding more product. And then I'm gonna set with Fenty Beauty's Pro Filter Powder. Now, I'm not going to focus much on the under eye area just because I wanna use that area for eyeshadow. So I wanna keep the concealer a little bit tacky so that the eyeshadows can stick onto that. I have no idea yet if I want to contour my face. I'm thinking that I'm gonna leave it with blush and highlight, but I'm not gonna make a decision now. I'm gonna move on to the brows, and we're gonna move on to the focal point of this video, which are the eyes, and then in the end, I can maybe decide by then. So one favorite trick of mine when I'm doing my makeup is that I like to get a makeup wipe or something, and I would just remove the product that had been put onto the brows. So if you were doing your foundation before you were doing your brows, then I suggest 
to actually wipe it off a little bit so that it's not too creamy. This goes out to all my oily girls out there because I have so much oil production in my brows and t-zone area. So if I don't do this part later, it's going to look super oily as hell and it's just not gonna last long because of the oil production it's gonna break down the makeup and therefore it's gonna be gone before you know it so i'm just cleaning the foundation off of this area it doesn't have to be perfect and don't worry if you see like gaps because we're anyways gonna clean the brows with concealer of course this step is purely optional this is just something i do to make things easier when i'm doing makeup on myself all right so now that the brows are clean i'm gonna go off camera to do them and i'll be right back all right guys as money mua would say i'm back and the brows are filled back in the brows are filled back in the brows are filled yeah if you didn't already notice i'm a huge money mua fan so i tried to kind of make my brow arch and tail a little bit higher so that we have more space for the wings so next i'm gonna prime my eyes using p louise base in the shade 03 i'm just going to put a good amount of product Product onto my eyelids and I used to use a brush before to kind of buff it out but I found out that fingers are much more faster and makes things just so much more easier to blend out so actually this is the reason why I didn't put so much of the Huda Beauty concealer when I was doing my base because I wanted to put the primer down as well just like that and now I'm gonna do the other eye all right so now that we have the base I'm gonna go ahead with my be perfect cosmetics carnival XL pro palette and using a little liner brush I'm going to dip into the color vex now it's a gray color and what this is going to do is help me trace out the outline of the butterfly shape that I want so I'm just dipping into that this will help me know where to put my shadows as well and it'll help me trace the outline as well later So I'm not sure if you can actually see that on the camera. Let me try to zoom in for you guys. So that's the rough sketch of what's going on at the moment. It's not perfect, obviously. It's just the start of what we're doing. Low key though. I'm already sweating. Alright, so now that the rough outline is done, I'm gonna color in the eyeshadow. I'm gonna dip into the shadow right here called Pink Me. It's a beautiful white iridescent shadow with a purplish pink shift into it. And I'm gonna focus onto my inner corner. And then I'm gonna go ahead with the shade here called Makeup just to give it kind of like a transition. And then I'm gonna go ahead with the shade Persuasion. Asian Persuasion. And then for the last color, I'm gonna go ahead with Wasted and a little bit of Reckless. Ah, there you go! Oh, it's already looking really good on camera actually. Yes, girl. Alright, alright, alright. Let me do the other eye. She really out here looking like a butterfly. I'm not even done yet and I'm already vibing with this look. Before I go on to the bottom part, let's start with the top. So I'm gonna use P. Louise's Battle Black Base. And we're gonna use that same liner brush if I can find it somewhere here on my table. Alright, I got it. And I'm gonna put a dollop of product onto the back of my hand. That should be enough, I guess. Let's see. I have no idea. I've got a Pinterest photo right here that I can actually use as a guide. So we're gonna try and follow this.
All right, this intricate line work is taking me so much time, but honestly, the more I work on it, the more it looks stunning and I cannot wait until I see the final results. Considering this is my first time doing this, you guys, this looks amazing for me. All right, so now that this eye is done, I'm gonna go on to the other eye next. That took so long, but hopefully because I already got like, you know, the hang of it from this eye, maybe it'll go easier or faster in this eye. Also, I ended up using a mirror halfway through what I was doing because I was thinking that when I was looking into my mirror, you guys can't really see what I'm doing. So hopefully it helped a bit. So I've just put a little bit more product onto the back of my hand. I've loaded up my brush and let's get started on the other eye. All right, so I feel like that this side is a little fatter or wider than this side. So I'm just gonna take a flat brush and I'm just gonna clean that line. Just to make it thinner. There you go. Definitely much more better. Okay, so I was right. This eye went a little bit more smoother just because I could copy off of my right eye and I knew what I was doing. So it didn't take that much more time and it actually looks much better than this side. So I'm gonna adjust the both of them and I'll be right back. All right, so I've adjusted the both of them. I added liner here just like the right eye. And now before going on to the bottom part of the look, I'm gonna go ahead with P. Louise's white base to create some dots and depth into my look. So I'm going to put the white white product here onto the back of my hand same as the black just a tiny bit and I'm going to dip into that white and create dots Alright, so now we're going to the dreaded part which are the bottom wings. For this part, I think I'm gonna go ahead with outlining the bottom first rather than shading in. So once again, I'm going to add more of the black product. I'm really loving this pad of black base. And we're gonna outline. I don't want it to be like super basic. Since I'm already doing this look, I want to go all the way. So we're gonna try to make it extra as possible. And then I'm going to shade in using the above colors. Now I'm going back with the liner brush and I'm going to do the intricate designs down as well. I did not like what I did in this corner so I'm gonna clean it up. So I've just put a little bit of that Rumor primer again and I'm going to remove the excess product because I'm not happy with how that looks like. And honestly, this is the beauty about makeup. If you mess up, you can always just remove it or fix it. It's not permanent. All right, so I've removed the little curl at the end. I didn't end up liking it at all. So this is how it looks like so far. I'm gonna do the other side off camera and I'll be right back. I have no idea why I'm really liking this side like immensely compared to this side. I'm gonna do the same exact thing as I did onto the top lid, or the top wings, and I'm gonna put dots onto the line work. For the bottom one though, we're definitely gonna put much more. All right, I'm done with this eye. I'm going to go onto the left side now. And we're finally freaking done. All right, so now that that's done, I'm gonna put on some lashes and then we're gonna move on to the lips and to the rest of the skin. All right, so the eyes are done and I made the decision that I do wanna go full out for this look. So we're gonna use my favorite Nip and Fab contour palette and we're gonna bronze my skin and contour. 
So I've just bronzed my cheekbones a little bit and I'm bringing it up to my forehead. And we're gonna bring it all the way down my neck as well. I don't want to remove this look. I can already tell that I do not want to remove this look at all. This took a lot of time. I'm going to bronze my chest a little bit just under here just to create some depth. And I'm going to add a tiny bit of blush. I'm not going to focus too much on blush because I want the color from my eyes to resonate. And of course, we're going to go on to the nose contour as well because that is what completes my look all the time and then my most favorite part which is the highlighter we're gonna be using the be perfect carnival palette and we're gonna dip into a combination of gold lux and fair play so i'm gonna dip into this one first and I gotta be careful with my placement that I don't put highlighter onto my wings. And then I'm gonna top it off with the first one. A little bit into the nose bridge and the tip of my nose and the rest onto the forehead and chin. So then I'm gonna combine these two shades right here of Gold Lux and Over It and I'm going to highlight my skin a little bit. I'm not putting too much highlighter, just a little bit just to accentuate. And then for the lips, I'm gonna go ahead with Jared Cosmetics 1995 Liquid Lipstick. Mm, wow, it's been a while since I even thought of putting lipstick on. There you go. And to top it all off, we're gonna be using Huda Beauty's Lip Strobe. This is in the shade Mystical. And we're finally done with the look. What do you guys think? Did I do well? Because I really think that I did so well considering that it's my one and only time that I have done this. Woo! That was intense though. I think it's been three hours right now that I've been doing this look. But I'm not mad at it. The outcome looks amazing and I never thought that I could push myself into this kind of artistry level. Also, now that Halloween is coming up, I'm gonna be doing a lot more creative looks. I think this is the next step in my makeup journey to start doing out-of-the-box creative looks. Not just glam looks per se, which that's what I usually do. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I know that was a journey, but we got there. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I used to upload every Friday, but now because of my schedule change, I have no specific day for upload, but I can promise that I will be uploading once a week. So now more than ever, it's really important for you to hit that notification button so that you will be notified when I do upload and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!